Hey guys, in today's video, I am going to do a comparison of all of my sheer polishes. Someone on Instagram asked me to do this maybe about a month and a half ago, maybe maybe longer. So what I, what I did is I applied them all on my nails so that you guys can see them side by side. Some are more sheer than others. Some are more tricky to apply than others. I love them all the same, but I feel like with this type of polish, you do need to go in with a strategy. But I've been applying this type of polish since is at the beginning of the 2000s or mid 2000s or something of the sort. And I still struggle sometimes um, because it does require um, an, a consistent application <laughs> and it requires a little bit of patience. So what, um, or the method that has worked for me the best I found is to go in with a very thin first coat and then I load up on the second coat and I let every layer fully dry before adding the next coat. Um, and then on my third coat, which is my last coat, I um, still load up, but I alleviate a lot of the pressure from the brush off the nail. So I'm almost hovering the brush on, on the nail just to deposit the color, but I'm not trying to disturb anything underneath because that's when you get a little bit of the streaking. Um, I also try not to stroke the nail more than I need to um, because the more you stroke it, the more you're going to get the patchy and that streaky mess, uh, which is very easy to get with this type of polish. I do love it and I love how it looks. It's just, you know, it just requires a little bit of a um, extra patience. I am going to start with Matt Maswell and Matt Maswell I have on my pinky. And I have three coats on my nails. And as you can see, when I angle my nail, you can see that little streak down the middle of my pinky there. You see that? From afar, it's not visible, but I can see it close up, <laughs> which bothers me. Uh, but really, really beautiful. I love Matt Maswell. I've loved it for years. I think it's a beautiful sheer pink. And then the next one, which leans slightly bit more pinky, it's pinky, but it has a slight peachy tone to it as well and maybe you'll be able to see it here next to Matt Maswell or maybe you won't I don't know if you guys can see that um, so here I have Sheer Fantasy also from Essie this is from their gel couture line more sheer than Matt Maswell but I do find that this one is a little bit easier to apply I don't have to be I still have to be careful but not as careful as with Matt Maswell um, and it's just so pretty. And the one next to it is the one that leans the most, the one that leans cool that I have. This one I bought not long ago. I found it at a TJ Maxx. And this is Confetti from Orly. I know this was a, a part of an old collection from Orly. I think they discontinued it, but they may have brought it back. I'm not really sure. And I love, I love very like pastel pinks with blue undertones i adore because i feel that they have this glow effect on the nails especially against my skin tones i freaking love it it looks amazing look at that it just pops a little bit more uh this one i also found to have the better formula even above sheer fantasy so that is confetti from orally look at how beautiful that is it also covers the nail a little bit more do you see that compared to sheer fantasy look at how pretty this is it's just the application so much easier with this one. And I currently have this one on my toes right now and it's so beautiful. I added a very thin coat on one of my daughter's nails and it's great. I very good at one coat. She has super, super short nails. So really, and I honestly like the brush could cover her entire nail so I could just do one coat and be done with it. And then the next one is Vanity Fairs. I love this one. This is probably one of my favorites because it, it's the one that I, I find has the easiest application almost like confetti and the reason for that is because this one has a super fine silver shimmer it's not visible though on the nails but I find that it helps with the application quite a bit and let's see I don't think you're not gonna be able to see the shimmer because this really isn't that visible but it's just look at the shimmer uh, let's see Maybe let me open my blind. Let a little more light come in here. Maybe you'll be able to see at least a shimmer in the bottom there. But you cannot see it on the nail. That's pretty good, good coverage, right? 
these two I feel have a very very good formula and then I have this one and I am I am including this one because the base of it is a sheer pink like these but this is loaded with almost like micro flakes they're like micro shimmers and they lean slightly like silvery white and three coats and I can still see my nail line but it is so beautiful you can see how sheer it is but uh, the the shimmers that are in here really help it out a lot and it's just so beautiful it's way more reflective in person than what my camera is capturing looking at it from here it just sparkles quite a bit <laughs> it's just so beautiful i love this for um for spring and winter and this is from orally this is called uh, Snow Worries. It came out in a winter collection a while back. Clearly, I love it. Look, I've used a lot of it. Let's move on to this hand. This hand, I only have three polishes on one of which is from Koki. This one was sent to me from Koki. It's called Blossom. This one I have to be careful with, um, kind of like Madma Swell. I have to be careful with it. But if you can see here, it leans more peach. It has that little bit more of a like that yellowy tone to it, almost fleshy, um, to where my soil is visibly pink. So for that, I, I like that. Because <laughs> I feel like it blends in a little bit more. Very, very, even more natural than Matt Maswell, I feel. Um, and this is called Blossom. With this one, uh, my strategy has to be slightly different. I do still apply a thin first coat. On my second coat, I can't go as heavy as some of the other ones because I feel like it almost starts pulling to the sides. And so then it leaves almost like um, a bit of a, a sh more sheer in the center and it just pulls, the, the, it, the polish tends to wanna load up on the sides of the nail because of the curvature of the nail. So. I have to go in with much thinner layers with this one and maybe even like this is three coats which is really good but I just had to be a little bit more cautious but it's pretty even if you can see that I think it's looking bald in one area but it's not showing up like that in person so I don't know I don't know what that is like right here but it's not I like this one because I feel like it's more fleshy leaning, I guess. Um, so really, really pretty. I use all of all of these. I think look really beautiful as pedicures. By the way, I love what they how they look um, on as pedicures. This one may I don't know. I may only reserve this one when I have super short nails and then pedis. I'm not sure. I feel like it's slightly difficult. Um, and that's on three nails because I was trying to practice my application with this one only because it's more milky than I expected. This is Bubble Bath from OPI and I could have sworn that I owned this before and that it was not this milky. I want to say that it was more sheer, but I can't remember. I don't know. It kind of threw me off because it's more milky than I thought. Let me show you when I open this bottle. It's not as transparent as some of the other polishes. I don't know. Um, I, with polishes like these that are, tend to be slightly bit more milky, I find that they're a little bit more difficult to apply, kind of like this one from um, Zoya, where it's a white, but it's more milky white. Oh my God, I can't open this. Okay. Um, I don't know, like it's not an opaque white. It's a sheer white, right? They, um, and yet, I don't know, I don't, I find like marshmallow even, marshmallow applies way better than this. Uh, marshmallow from Essie, it's a white, um, uh, crawly, like jelly polish. Or even this one, this one's pretty sheer from, um, from Essie and it's a milky white with a drop of red in it um, but it applies a lot better and it could be because this one has a little gold shimmer I talked about this one um, recently in a couple of my monthly manis because I wore it and it's so beautiful I think the little shimmer does help this one apply because although milky it's not as difficult as bubble 
Uh, I'm kind of disappointed on this one. But anyways, um, that's there. My, my middle finger. It required three coats. Um, this one's three coats, but do you see how it's a little bald in the center there? And then my thumb is struggling, like, really bad. It looks way more even in on the camera than what it looks in person. It look, in person, it looks slightly bit more messy. Maybe you guys can see here in these areas. Okay, and then I forgot to mention my ring finger. This is also an older... Um, sheer polish. This is from OPI and it's called Care to Dance. It probably came out in a ballet collection of some sort. Uh, and that is here. This is all, also one of my favorites uh, because it it's an easier application for me. Plus it has, it leans more purple. I love polishes that lean, like, and you can see here next to confetti. So confetti has a blue undertone, and by itself, I see a little hint of purple, but next to Care to Dance, look at how more, much more cool Care to Dance is. More blue. So it's, per, it's visibly purple. And what I like about that is that, um, especially when if you have um, your nails are stained, right? and my nails are stained, my nails look yellow, <laughs> um, this counteracts the yellow in my nails and so um, although sheer you can't see the yellowing in my nail which is great <laughs> I love this polish it's one of my original sheer uh, sheer polishes all right my sister just got here my dogs are going crazy so okay let me finish this up I have two base coats to talk about I'm gonna start off with the nail armor from Orly and this is the base coat that I used uh, for the swatches today on all of my nails. This is more of a milky white. So it adds a very light wash, kind of like how it looks here at the top. Very light white wash on the nails. And I like that especially because the tips of my nails are very, very opaque. And you can see that there. Very opaque, so it almost blurs it out a little bit. So when I go in with the sheer polish, it's not... I don't need five coats, just the three coats, and I'm good to go. So I love this one. It's really great. And then this one, I'm mentioning this one because I'm mentioning a milky color here, like bubble bath, right? Moving forward, though, I'm like today I didn't apply this rich filler under bubble bath, but moving forward, this is what I'm going to apply. I love this rich filler because it is tinted white. And it is more opaque than the nail armor from Orly. And I specifically use this one for very light, very pastel pinks that require, you know, tricky three coats, sometimes borderline four, you know, depends on the polish. Um, or like um, a milky white polish. This one's kind of reminiscent to Marshmallow from Essie. Only that this one has a shimmer. I've gotten away with two coats of Marshmallow because I've used this rich filler. Um, so something like this, right, where it's slightly transparent. When I add a very good coat of the rich filler, I can get away with two coats, you know. Um, I do find though that this one in particular does take a little bit of extra drying time. So I do make sure that it's fully dry before I go in with a coat of polish. Otherwise I find that my manicure takes a little bit longer to dry. So just, you know, something to keep in mind. So it's the Sash Base Bridge Filler. All right, guys, that is everything for this video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you guys enjoyed it and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.